Major League Baseball pitchers have nasty stuff. Fastballs, sliders, curves, fork balls, even knuckleballs. But if you've ever stood in your backyard and watched a wiffle ball break, it looks like it breaks a lot more than a Major League curveball. But does it really? So we had to wonder, what's harder to hit, a Major League pitch or a wicked wiffle ball? To introduce us to the hardcore world of competitive wiffle, we drafted one of the greatest wiffle ball pitchers to ever play the game, Joel DeRoche. In 2007, Joel's team won wiffle ball's national championship. And he pitched his way to the coveted Cy Young Award. I throw about eight different pitches from about four or five different angles. My nastiest pitch has to be either the drop or a changeup that I throw. How nasty? Joel's going to demonstrate against the sports science lab rat, John Brinkus. Swiffle ball. How hard can this be? It's like he's throwing a magic ball. It like moves and darts and defies physics. Don't worry, Lab Rat. Joel's made a lot of hitters look silly. To be honest, I've lost count of how many no-hitters and perfect games I've thrown over the years. Throwing no-hitters and perfect games in wiffle ball may not sound that impressive, but this isn't your backyard leisure game anymore. Leagues are ultra-competitive and stocked with former pros and college studs. So that got us thinking. Does the best wiffle ball pitcher have what it takes to mow down a pro ball player? Jeez! Not just any pro, but a major league slugger with a better than 300 batting average. Rising young star, James Loney. The average major league hitter strikes out one out of every five at bats. Loney only strikes out one out of every 10 times, so not much gets by him. All right, now this is the ultimate battle. It's wiffle ball versus baseball. How big of a moment is this for you? It's a professional hitter, man, but this is a whole different world, man. This is my world. You better be ready. Hey, I've seen the best in the big leagues, and you don't got nothing for me. So what happens when two worlds collide? Can a big league hitter whip a whiffler? Let's find out. Like a split finger right there. Yeah, baby. Can't hang. Yeah, not hitting that. Now what are you what are you seeing? It's kind of doing this, dancing. It's like a fast knuckleball almost. So it's hard to pick out where it's gonna be. It's definitely harder. This is definitely harder. This is definitely harder. Yeah, I mean, I might be able to foul tip them, but it's definitely hard to square it up. So why is our wiffle ball pitcher able to get the best of our major league stud? To start, wiffle pitchers can hurl those perforated plastic balls up to 75 miles per hour from 42 feet away. In baseball, that's the equivalent of a 105 mile per hour fastball. And the ball's movement is mind boggling. Major League Cy Young winner Jake Peavy's curveball can break 14 inches. 
our wiffle ball Cy Young winner can throw a ball that breaks 48 inches or four feet. So how is it possible? Baseballs break because a spinning ball creates a disruption in the air flowing around it. Hollow plastic wiffle balls have eight oblong holes and are only one third as heavy as baseballs, making them more susceptible to the effects of turbulence. Wiffle balls can dance so much that to have the same effect on a baseball, a pitcher would have to be throwing in a Category 5, 155 mile per hour hurricane. It's no wonder wiffle ball leagues are dominated by pitchers. Oh, oh! I need a bigger bat. <laughs> but to be fair, using that skinny yellow bat, which is over two times smaller than a regular Major League bat, is like trying to swat a fly with a pencil. So what happens when we give James a little more plastic? We're gonna give you a little help here. All right. Give you a little bit of a bigger bat. All right, let's see if I can do it. Turns out all this big league hitter needed was some time to dial in the pitches and a bigger bat. That was tough. Yeah, it was hard, man. I can, it's hard to pick up the ball right out of his hand, and it's hard to see the spin, too, so. How's it make you feel? This guy's one of the best of the best, man. It's an honor. You know, I had a great time uh, trying to hit the wiffle ball, and uh, it was definitely a challenge. Hey! There it is! 